Let's have a look at waterfall. So we've seen that Agile and waterfall are different approaches to deliver the work of the project, which in other words mean different approaches to execute the project, the way we have seen in part one. So in part one we saw that for all of projects, especially IT projects, the execution is, is quite standard. So the execution is the requirement gathering, which is done in planning, and then the execution is more or less design something, you build something and you test it and after you implement it. So Agile and Waterfall are two different ways to go through this cycle here. What we've seen in part one was Waterfall and Waterfall is usually the way a project management method is being taught. Because once you know what to fall, then it's just a matter of switching things around to go into Agile. You know, what to fall and Agile, you would have the same initiation here. Sometime you would have the same planning, you would have definitely the same closing, but it's, it's more or less the execution and the end of planning when you do the requirements gathering that, that, that would change a little bit. So, when I say part one, what we've done was waterfall, is that we've assumed that there's only one implementation. We, we, we said, we do this once, we do this once, we do this once, and after we implement once. So that's why I said part one, we were using waterfall. So let's have a look. For waterfall, during planning, we ask the business to provide us all the requirements. We say, what do you want exactly? write this big document, put all your requirements in there, you sign them off and you hand, hand them to us and we'll have a look. And then we go into execution. And then we design based on this big document there. And then we build based on this large document. And then we test based on this large document. If they want something Different, if they want to change here, we've seen we, we just call on the change control card. We said, sorry guys, you need to go through the change request process and it needs to be signed off before we you know even you know have a closer look at it. So we do that once and after we do all that once and then we implement once. Now once it's implemented, as, it, as you know, as we do that only once, we usually go into closing. Now there are there are times, and this is why Prince Two has stages, when you would have you know several large stages. So you could have two, three large sa stages. But most of the time, it's all only one. One one big document here. Do all that once, and after we implement. So. You will understand when we go through Agile and how, how Agile is different. But for Waterfall, this is the process. Now let's have a look at Agile so we can really see what, what the difference is.